Meghan Markle is having a very upsetting Easter, which she never expected to happen. Can you imagine? Someone copies an original book and still manages to outsell the first book. What would you do? Would you sue or cry? Hey my friends! It's a pleasure to have you here. Click the like button and be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest news. Bruno Vincent's parody book, Sparis, A Heresy, pokes fun at the wildest revelations made by Harry in his memoir, Spare. The author's intention was not to be cruel to Harry, but to pull his leg in a humorous way. Vincent found Harry's memoir funny and couldn't resist the urge to express his thoughts. He chose to write a book instead of speaking up. According to Vincent, Harry's book is silly in some cases, and a dessert to be made fun of. He also mentioned that Harry's lack of intelligence is not his fault. The Duke of Sussex released his best-selling memoir, Spare, in January, in which he shared a lot of intimate details about himself. As the name suggests, he didn't spare the royal family. The cover of the parody version features the same photo of Harry that's been used on the cover of Spare, but with his mouth taped up. The publisher took a dig at the Duke and Duchess for wanting to lead a quiet life. If they wanted a quiet life, why would they release a book with lots of private information? The word hypocrisy was made for Harry and Meghan. An excerpt from the parody version reads, All I ever wanted was privacy. In order to get it, it seemed that an exceptionally detailed 500,000-word book was in order. In order to get the privacy he so craved, he has written a froth-filled, tell-all book that goes deep inside the castle walls and exposes every shouting match, fist fight, betrayal, teddy bear, awkward hug, and tear-stained wedding rehearsal for the world to feast their eyes on. The fictional Harry from the parody version is said to have some really comedic moments with the royal family. It talks about the Duke's controversial costume that he had worn to a fancy dress party in 2005. The author wrote, I didn't have a costume, but at the last minute, I discovered a higher place near the party venue. I went there very reluctantly and practically without thinking about it, almost at random, and with my eyes averted, plucked the first outfit that came to hand and ended up with a Nazi uniform. Willie and Kate were there, and it was probably their idea, to be honest. I really can't quite recall. In fact, I can recall, and it definitely was their idea. In his original memoir, Harry had criticized the royal family, saying that Prince William and his wife, Kate Middleton, supported his decision to wear a Nazi costume in 2005. According to market experts' analysis, it seems that the parody version caters more to readers' entertainment needs. It definitely looks like the parody version will be a bigger hit than the original version, most likely surpassing the original sales rate. It would be hilarious if the Sparrow's parody sells more than the original book since it looks way better and more tempting than the original book. What do you think about this whole situation? Are you interested in reading Prince Harry's memoir or the parody version? Let us know in the comments below. It's always fascinating to see how people's opinions differ and what they find entertaining. In the end, it's important to remember that everyone has the right to their own opinion and that it's okay to enjoy different forms of entertainment. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts. See you next video.